trying to strike a balance in the concerns that the university has, um, but also believe firmly that people should have the right to, to have their voice heard. With 79 arrests Monday and a total of 65 criminal trespass cases to review, Travis County Attorney Delia Garza calls the current situation at the University of Texas at Austin unsustainable. Cycling people in and out of jail on low-level low charges and dwindling our criminal justice resources for the rest of the community will do very little to maintain the public safety of our community. Garza says for every arrest, there's a team of people needed to review and process it, leading to delays. The Travis County Sheriff's Office says the arrests have doubled their average daily intake of 80 at the jail, though most of the strain is seen downtown at Central Booking. In a statement from TSCO, the spokesperson says in part, Central Booking is very busy, but situations like these are not unprecedented. We've experienced them before. When Central Booking is processing a high volume of arrestees, it does take more time. Garza says this also impacts the other side of the criminal justice system. That means less officers available for other calls, like domestic violence and assaults. She's calling on UT leadership to find a better way. There's been peaceful protests throughout this state and, and, in, our, and in our country. And so I, I think there's a way forward. As she fears escalation, if people are led to believe their First Amendment rights are being infringed upon. It is not the role of the criminal justice system to jail people for conduct that has not yet occurred or that might occur, nor is it the role to assist our governor in efforts to suppress nonviolent and peaceful demonstrations. Protesters welcome today as they exit the Travis County Jail after being detained during yesterday's pro-Palestine protests on the campus of UT Austin. The Travis County Sheriff's Office confirms 79 people were arrested at Monday's protest, 78 were charged with criminal trespass. One of the lowest level nonviolent crimes our office is presented with. Is After 57 people were arrested last week during a protest, Travis County Attorney Delia Garza says the action shown by law enforcement towards protesters the last two weeks is concerning. It is not the role of the criminal justice system to jail people for conduct that has not yet occurred or that might occur, nor is it the role to assist our governor in efforts to suppress nonviolent and peaceful demonstrations. I think what we're seeing is that the government is practicing pretty blatant viewpoint discrimination. Cara Achar, the engagement coordinator for free speech with the ACLU of Texas says, students have a right to protest on campus. She says SB 18, which was signed by Governor Greg Abbott in 2019, protects those rights on public colleges and universities. To designate a university as traditional public forum and then to issue orders of dispersal and for law enforcement to remove students from that setting is really constitutionally suspect. Achar also questions whether the UT administration, along with government officials, are targeting a specific type of speech. It's not free speech as long as you say something that I agree with. It's free speech for all. Garza says she has reached out to administration about how to better approach protests on campus. I'm also deeply concerned about how matters will escalate when people believe they are being prevented from exercising the right to participate in nonviolent protests. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.